Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us on the show today is a bundle of talent. Believe me, he's a singer, songwriter, producer, and sound engineer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, the ladies' man, Johnny <laughs> Dream! <laughs> So what I did, believe it. Can we still say "lady man" because, <laughs> like, wasn't there like a thing with the? Let me not be. The what? Let me be quiet. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So <laughs> let me not say this. This ladies' man's like, is it the dreads? Uh huh. I have dreads. I, uh, is it he, the voice? Is he, it the no, voice? He I can sing. He doesn't support Chelsea. Oh, like that. oh my beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, he can not sing. He, he, he. No, don't. So don't, don't, I have the dreads. Let's have that footage. I have the dreads. I have the voice, ladies. Come you don't on, have the voice. <laughs> <laughs> we just to ignore you, but thank you for coming on the show. Do you rest? Thank you my first me. question. Because I still saw you. Uh, when was it? Was it not like Tuesday? Yeah, it was uh, at. Um, yeah, at, at, at Osasis event, event yes. and then like you're still dropping content, you're still making music. Do you rest? And it's rushing out of now. Course. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Of course, I, I think you, you kind of get used to the lifestyle at some point. You, 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 you know how it goes, mm -hmm. you know, from the house, maybe go to the studio and then shoot mm -hmm. some content. It's kind of like the lifestyle. It doesn't sound so. like rest, yeah, but okay. <laughs> I mean, we sleep at night like everybody else. So. <laughs> gotcha. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, Johnny Drill is a whole, like, you're, you're a whole musician, not yeah. just singing. Mm -hmm. I mean, writing, producing, doing yeah. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So how did, how, what did you start with first? Was it singing before production or was it production before singing? Um, I, think, I think singing, but professionally I started as a producer. Um, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I used to, I was in church, in the, the choir, like, you know, a lot of Nigerian artists. <laughs> <laughs> the choir, but, but mostly as an instrumentalist. Yeah. And then I started to learn uh, music production. And then, you know, I now became, started to, you know, dabble into being an artist. Yeah. Um, so production first. Um, but I think my big break was, a lot of people don't know this, but I was on Project Fame in, yes. Oh, yes. in, 20, yeah, in 2013. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't win. I, I didn't even make top 10. <laughs> but, Shocking. But, but that was the, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but that was the first step for me to oh, nice. become a fully like, professional artist. Oh, nice. Do you used yeah. to use your voice for the Lord? Like, for the church? Lord. <laughs> um, interestingly, I was in church. I was in church on this last Sunday. Yeah. And not just in church, but like on the pulpit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so I, wow. I was... Um, yeah, but I wasn't. It wasn't singing. It was. It was more like uh, we're having conversations. Like, <laughs> but and I was I, listening. I, to God. <laughs> yeah. So the I'll, voice. The voice. Now God give me. <laughs> uh, it's always for the well, Lord. There's that. So your your kind of music, um, folklore, um, alternative. Yeah. What is it exactly? Um, I think it's a mixture of a lot of things. Um. But at its core, it's, it's folk, it's alternative, but there's also a lot of African elements in there as well. And with the more recent songs, there's, there's a lot more African infusion, like the precaution, the more use of Pigeon English. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, it, it's a lot of things. And you know, you know the way music has evolved, especially Afrobeats over time, is there's so much fusion going on in the sound right now. Like the, 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 Af the, the Burn Up Afrobeats is so different from the Rema Afrobeats. Mm -hmm, and that's mm -hmm. so different from the Whiskey and the Davido. Mm -hmm, so it's, mm -hmm. it's so many things going on. And I think yeah. that's what makes every artist unique. Mm -hmm. And the same thing goes for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you been on that pressure? Like, you know how oh, Johnny yeah. Drew is just on his lane. Mm. There are some other guys that are killing it. But Johnny Drew is sweet, small now. Mm. Have you been yeah. under any kind of mm. pressure to just, you know what? Let me. Um, I, I wouldn't call it pressure per se. I think that. Um, first of all, what at the core for me is me enjoying the music that I'm making. Because yeah. if I'm not enjoying the music that I'm making, um, it's not going to translate to the fans. Like it's almost like trying to promote something that you don't like. People mm -hmm. can see through mm -hmm. that that you don't really believe in that thing. So you have to believe in it first. And for me, um, I'm not going to put out any song that I don't like. And I'm not going to put mm -hmm. out a song I've been pressured to put out. Mm -hmm. I have to like it first. I have to be in love with it. And that's happened for every single every single single that I've I've put out over time. So I won't, I won't call it pressure. I would just say that I, I like to try out new things. I like to evolve. And that's happened like in the last couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we still have superstar Johnny Drill right here in the building. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely love that one. But I will say, okay, so like normal music that we listen to is like three minutes, you understand? And give <laughs> us full music video. This was, I like, mean, this was like Michael Jackson thriller. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah, that's the movie. Why did you wow. make this one like... So long, even if it didn't feel long, actually. Yeah. Why did you make it so long? Um, I think, ah, so first of all, I would like to take the blame, but <laughs> it's, it's the director's fault. Uh, yeah. um, the story we had in mind, mm -hmm. um, he first sent the story, and me now, over Sabi, and I started putting things inside. Yeah, creative. Like, you know, so by the time, you know, I didn't even know it was going to be 
five minutes. Actually, it's almost six minutes. <laughs> I, I, I knew it was going to be that long, but by the time the first cut came, the first cut was like six minutes, something second. And then we started at his line for how to cut, 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 cut. But I think for us, because we wanted to go back, to, we almost wanted people to feel like it was a short film, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to like a conventional mu yeah. music video. And if you notice as well, we also incorporated sign language. So all yeah. that stuff, mm -hmm. putting, putting all these many things together. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then there were breaks in between where the music stops and then, you know, you know there's tension, mm -hmm. trying mm -hmm. to explain that tension. Um, so eventually we ended up at over five minutes. So <laughs> we're not <laughs> I, I like it. I like wow, it wow. because if you look at it, MJ did this kind yep, of thing. Yep, that's what I said, Michael Jackson. He was really yeah. with the directing, <laughs> yeah. the direction, mm -hmm. and that's what an artist really is yeah. because he actually, you wrote the song so you yeah. understand what you wanted sure. to do. Sure. So for me, I, I mean, I knew that you started like a long time ago, like creating a community yeah. of people, especially mm -hmm. with small shows you were doing. You yeah. created a community, fans that transcended with you up to this moment. Yep. Now you're at this moment where your music has not changed, mm -hmm. right? To be honest, and everybody has followed that. We love that. But with the inflow of so much Afro beats, all yeah. the sounds, everything, how have you been able to just stay and do your thing? And like he said before, no pressure whatsoever. Yeah. And basically just enjoy your lane and keep doing your thing. Yeah, um, first of all, I, I'd say it's, it's a shout out to the fans. It's, it's them that, you know, if there were no fans that were rooting for me, well, well, well I was at that phase where I had my first 500 fans, first 1,000, mm -hmm. 10,000, you know, if it wasn't them, then I, I probably would not be here. I probably would have tried something different. Yeah. Um, but it was them. They loved the sound. They loved the music. They connected to the music. So that's why over time, it's almost seemed like the fans have become like an extension mm -hmm. of Johnny Drill. Like yeah. the kind of music that I would like to put out, they always love. Um, but of course, I, I think that it's very interesting times we're in, especially now that Afrobeats is kind of taking over the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Afrobeats artists are doing big things. Big shout out to Burner Boy, Rema, David O'Whiskey, and the rest of them. Um, so, and, and I think that, you know, as more attention is on Afrobeats right now, um, the world is going to start to look for different variations of Afrobeats. They're going to be like, okay, this is Afrobeat. We love this. What else do you have, yeah. right? Yeah. And I think it, this now is the time for, for you know, people, more, more artists that are, well, different um, in this Afrobeat space to um, become even more aggressive with putting out music and let the world know that we are, there's so much more music out of Africa than, yeah. you know, than the one sound that you think that we, we only have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we cannot have Johnny Drew right here on the show and not talk about the commotion himself and Tommy Costa. I say commotion. <laughs> yeah. Like some girls were saying, no, this cannot be true. It cannot be me. It cannot be you. <laughs> is, it, is it just, is it this video and the promotion of Believe Me? Or really, because people now went far and saw tweets of yeah. she mm. saying want to have uh -huh. a, a maker for me. Actually. All right. Yeah, so you know? when I went to Instagram, they played this man, and yeah. I said, let me not be the one to raise it. <laughs> no. So is it is that um, a Johnny Drill and Tommy, or is just uh, let's just do concepts for we'll this? We try to this believe song. you, whatever. Uh, you believe me. the girls will try to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, um, Tommy says she's an amazing person. Um, she was uh, she's very great to work with, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she's a great actress. Um, mm -hmm. We also her work with um, what's that movie? Far from, Far, Far from home. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and you know, Emeka is also amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, He's giving votes for me. You know, it's, 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 what it's, kind of political answer is this? Yeah. It's, so it's always great to, to to so it was definitely great working with her. Yeah. And you know, yeah, looking forward to working with her more in the future. <laughs> right, so wait, before you go, a quick one. How do you and Don Jazzy do those videos? Yes. You're like, whose idea is this? Because you just come on Instagram. Next thing you're saying, Don Jazzy is like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing it in the corner. Like, who comes up with the idea? Who says, you know what, let's do this? Uh, so, um, well, which one in particular are you talking about? All of them. The uh, new music, uh, see, Mondays? Uh, yeah. Are you doing okay. So? so, Jazzy, first of all, Jazzy is in this room right now. Oh, my goodness. It's, <laughs> he's, he's such a fun person to be with. Yeah. Um, and he's... He he's he doesn't overthink anything, mm. right? Mm. Uh, the last the, there's a clip we just shot, Music Monday. Yeah. So I went over to his to 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 shoot it, and you know he had he had this Michael Jackson pose. Like, you know, was, <laughs> and I, in my head I was just like, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> well, you know, and this was so random. Like he just like, well, let's shoot, and then just went. <clears throat> <laughs> so he's like that, and he's, he's it's very easy to work with him and. Yeah. He's a very fun person. He's a good person as well. And so, yeah, big shout out to him. So the idea is usually it's, it's, it can be his, it can be mine as well. Yeah. 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 Love it. Thank you so much. Before we go, I just want to ask one question. Yeah. Who is the naughtiest person in the Maven crew? Naughtiest person? Ira. Ira. <laughs> naughtiest person is Ira. 
Okay, I think, OJ might have a message Ira. for her right after. No, don't. You, you don't? Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we go, I mean, the, the fans would like to know, I mean, Believe Me is out there, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Is there any more coming out of the, of, of the bag? Yes, absolutely. I'm uh, working on more music, uh, more new music. Um, there's, there's, there's projects in the way as well. So just stay close. Follow me on social media. You get all that information soon, yeah? Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having me. We got to let you run because you're a busy man. <laughs> Thank you. All of us are busy. Right? <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, believe us, that's it. Wow. Wow. Wow.